Have you realized the amount of sugar that grapefruit jams usually have? If you haven't, they have a ton. And really, you don't want to put that in your body. So that's why today I am showing you how to make grapefruit jam using only maple syrup. And we're using the whole grapefruit. We're using the skin and we're using the center. All that bitter juice that is in there, maybe you don't like it, but today you're going to start loving it because it's going to be amazing. Only three ingredients, grapefruit, lemons, and maple. So let's get to it. Hello, and welcome back to the Lalo Lab. My name is Lalo, and I'm so glad to have you here. Here, I share vegan recipes, tips, and the experience I have learned over the years as a professional chef. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my next videos. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, one of the tools that it would be nice to have when you're trying to do any citrus jam is going to be one of these. This is a citrus peeler. And these little indentations are going to help us to remove the skin without the white part. Because the white part tends to be very, very, very bitter and it will ruin your whole jam. That's why I do recommend to have one of these. It is not completely necessary. You can do it with a peeler, then remove the white part and then cut julienne's or cut it in any shape you want using your knife. This is just going to save you a lot of time and a lot of effort and it's only a few bucks. Okay, the first thing we're going to start from the top towards the bottom of the grapefruit. We're just going to insert it and then don't put a lot of pressure. Bring it down, bring it down and then you have here, look as you can see, the peel and all the white parts are still in there. As you can see, these come out really easily and these are gonna make your life easier. You can also do this with the lemon from the top to the bottom as well. Okay, so now that we have all our zest, we're just going to chop it a little bit because they're a little bit long and you don't really want to put this in your mouth. So what we're going to do is just place them together about one inch, one inch and a half, and then that's it. Almost all of them will be like that. If you want to make them a little bit uh, smaller pieces, just do it again and you will have like bite-sized pieces. Now let's transfer the zest into the pot so we can squeeze the grapefruit juice. So now we're going to squeeze all the juice from the grapefruit. So really quick, we're gonna cut them. I like to do this setup. A bowl, a colander, and then a rimmer if you have. If not, you can even use a fork. And then from here, I just like to do this, you know? So I don't, I'm not worried about the seeds or anything. And then I just squeeze mercilessly and just trying to get all the juice out of it until nothing is there. We're gonna do this with all the grapefruits and the lemon. This is going to be a little bit messy and that's all right, just embrace the messiness. Only in this case, not all the time. I mean, you still want to work clean, but it's going to splash everywhere and you cannot control that. And the best thing is, at the end of the day, the worst thing can happen is that your hands are going to smell delightful. Okay, so now we have all of this pulp. Don't discard it right away. We're gonna use our hands and you're gonna see how all the juice is coming out. So still we want to squeeze it with our hands or push it with a spoon so we get all this juice. Now we can transfer it into the pot. Okay, so we're gonna add our grapefruit juice, all of it. My goodness, this is gonna be delicious. And then we're gonna add a pinch of salt. This is just to elevate the flavors of the grapefruit to increase it. And this is maple syrup. Something that you can do here with this jam is infuse it. You can infuse flavors such as thyme, you can do cinnamon, you can do some cardamom. These are only some ideas, but something that I'm going to add is vanilla bean. I'm going to add one vanilla bean to add that extra touch of beautiful and delicate flavor of the vanilla. This is a vanilla bean that I made into vanilla extract and now I just squeeze all the pulp, all the inside, all the flavor. But you can use vanilla extract if you don't have vanilla beans. But if you want to learn how, just go and check my reels in my Instagram. 
So now that we have all the ingredients in the pot, here is the part where you just let it be. So we're gonna bring it to a boil and then we're just gonna let it simmer. Could take between 40 minutes and one hour and 20 minutes, more or less. So now that we have all our ingredients in the pot, we're going to leave it there to cook for about 50 minutes. It could take a little bit longer. This is very liquid, but we're looking for is like a jam consistency. The citrus tends to have pectin. That's why we're not adding any pectin into the jam. It's going to thicken by itself. And also the maple syrup is going to help a little bit. I show you the consistency when this jam is almost ready. So it's been about one hour and 20 minutes. And look, we have like a third part of what we started. It was on low flame. Obviously I prefer to do it like that. Otherwise it can burn all my pan. And I don't want that. I don't want that kind of flavor on the jam. I want more like a delicate flavor. So just be aware of that. You know, in low flame, it's going to take about one hour and 20 minutes. On high flame, it would take less, but you need to keep an eye on it and then keep it stirring very constantly. And you see the color, it changes. Now, look at this. These are all the seeds of the vanilla. It's amazing. And look, look how old the skin, it looks caramelized. Something that I wanted to tell you is that you need to scrape the walls here every like every 20 minutes because otherwise they are going to burn. It looks so luscious. This is the texture that we want. Look, when I go like this, you still see that, you know, it kind of closes right away, but it's not that runny. So when it gets syrupy, that's when you know that it's getting there, it's ready. Now it's hot, but when it gets cold, it's going to start thickening a little bit. Okay, so let's just pour it into the jar. Careful because there is a lot of zest here. It's going to be a little bit bitter because we didn't add a lot of, lot of maple syrup. So just keep that in mind. Still, I believe it's, it's delicious and it's other kind of flavor, you know, that uh, the one that we are used to. Just look at this texture. It's already getting thicker. Clean the sides of the jar and then we're gonna cover it. When I cover it while it's hot, so it just vacuum sealed by itself. And remember to cool it at room temperature until completely cool. If you don't open it, keep it in the fridge for about three months. But if you do open it, just keep it for about one month. So there you have it. It's a naturally sweetened grapefruit jam with very little maple syrup. It's a third part of that. Usually you use half of the amount of sugar and also this is maple syrup. So this completely different the effect that is going to have in your body. Something else that you can use is other fruits in season or other citruses like lemon and orange. I also have an orange rhubarb jam. It's kind of similar. You can check it out if you want. And this kind of jam for breakfast is a beautiful bomb. It's amazing. It's really, it's gonna blow up your mind. So go check out either the bug with bread recipe or the sorghum bread recipe that I have in my channel. And I'm gonna leave the links down below for you to check them out. These are several things that you can do with a jam. You can either use it in a marinade, you can use it in a vinaigrette, you can use it in a reduction, that's for in the savory side. And in the sweet side, you can use it as a filling for a cake, or you can use it for muffins, or on top of cookies, just to glaze them. I think it's going to really pair wonderfully. Just use your imagination and remember the imagination is the limit. You can do many, many things. So leave in the comments, what did you come up with? How did you use this jam? And also, please let me know what other videos do you want me to make, what recipes, or what else would you like to see in this channel? Like always, I am very grateful for you, very grateful for your time. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Take care and see you later.